Hey guys, I'm back with another review. But wait, there's a bearded dragon in some water. Didn't we already see a bearded dragon taking a bath? Yes, but this is a new rescue of mine. His name is Mongo. He's two years old. He's not very big because he was stunted. He's going through a shed right now, so you can ignore some of that. But today we're going to talk about femoral pores. This is important because it's not just bearded dragons that have femoral pores, leopard geckos, other reptiles. What are these? These are pores that are on the bottom of the reptile, typically on the legs, that the reptile uses to secrete an oil that spreads his scent around, and that helps him mark his territory and attract females. Basically, they just put his scent down. Male and females have these. Males are larger. Their pores are physically larger. Now, this also leads into why you really have to keep your bearded dragon's enclosure clean and give them baths. Because their pores will get clogged. Just like if you get a pimple, a zit, a, a blackhead, you'll see it. you'll have a big pore and it will be clogged. On a bearded dragon, they're on the bottom of the back legs and they go across. And I, I'll show them to you guys because he's a rescue and they're clogged. This is my second day with him. I didn't do anything yesterday because I wanted him to kind of calm down and take it easy. So there's a couple of things to keep in mind. That way anyone who's a reptile expert knows that I know these things, but also other people. So bearded dragons don't have a diaphragm. So when you tip them over upside down, they cannot breathe. Uh, same thing, Chinese water dragons, etc. Not, not all reptiles, but bearded dragons are one. So keep in mind, I'm going to have to really limit on camera what I'm doing because it's harder. I have to work around the camera and things take longer, but I do want to show you guys this because it's very important. The second is you might see him squirm. You might see him move around a little bit. One thing to keep in mind is he's actually not in a bad mood, no matter how much he squirms. If he doesn't turn all black underneath here and his upper, upper body turns dark, I mean, dark black, you'll see it. It'll probably happen but it might not happen right away. But the other thing, these are one of these things where it's for his own good. So I've been soaking him in a 10 gallon, the 10 gallon feeder tub, uh, reptile bath tub. I have a couple 10 gallon old fish tanks that I use for these things. I've moved them into here for the video so I could get a better view for you guys. Now, before I flip them, I'm going to let you know that he was soaking for about 45 minutes. Um, and typically, you know, you do a 10 to 15 minute, 30 minute top bath for your bearded dragon. But these are so bad and so hard that I soaked him more. And now I moved him in here for just the video. I want to show you guys, I have some. Let's see if I can get it to focus here on my finger. Right there. These are oils that broke off and they're they're hard. I can't squeeze them. I can't I can't do anything. And they're big. They're they're almost a centimeter in length. When I flip them over, you'll see. Let's get this thing to focus down here. All right. So let me I'm going to drop the camera a little bit. That way maybe more I can just sit them up. Oh whoa 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 whoa. I know. You want to be on video? Oh, he's coming to the camera. So I'm going to pick them up here and bring them down. There they are. So all along, basically from his knee, all across the bottom, these are where the femoral pores are. And these are just clogged. These are a couple where they broke off. So there's a couple things. You guys, you want to keep these clean too. That way they don't get impacted or infected. Now if I were to, to give them a little squeeze and maybe you can even see you can see that it's it's packed even in underneath the skin so I'm gonna see if 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 they're loosened by by moving if they can be squeezed out although you typically don't do this but I'm just doing it to check I'm doing it very gently okay no they cannot they won't squeeze out so I might try to take some tweezers to them uh, and see, 
and I'll give you guys, I'm going to pause the video now, stop it, and I'll give you guys an update to see what I've cleaned out. But the, the base solution is going to be basically every day for about 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to be soaking them in a warm water to help break things out, that way even he on his own can just rub those out, and also make sure his enclosure is super clean. All right, guys, I'm going to come back and update you guys. Okay, we're back. About 30 minutes later. Oh, all of this gook I pulled out of his femoral plugs. His femoral pores. These plugs. Um, so the, the big takeaway is you pull them out and then you see the end of it is more white. That's more waxy. It's still liquidy. So I'd say in one to two days, we'll get all of that cleared out. I'll give you a look to see what he looks like underneath. Quite a bit better. Now you still see the pores, obviously, and they are big. Uh, ooh, look at this one here by my thumb. That one right there is actually starting to already push out some more. So these pores, you really shouldn't see them like that. But he, he's going to get a lot better, so we'll keep an eye out. I'll keep make sure I show you guys. Um, so I found this uh, layers of a stuck shed on his feet. Actually, if you look here for the shed, they came off some of his feet. And where it's black here on the skin, there was more than one layer built up. So if you look on this foot, nice and clean, this foot... Still black like that because it's still got some couple layers of stuck shed. I don't want to put him through too much trauma. Um, he was actually remarkably really tame. I think he understood, you know, hey, this is helping me. So I will, you know, want to keep soaking him and clean up around his fingers. I see some stuck sheds right there and on one or two spikes of his beard. Like I just pulled that one off. It was just stuck on there. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Focus. Focus. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. He's been, uh, oh, and a nearly two inch long sperm plug. I saved you guys that, so don't worry. But that's it, guys. He's all set. You can see he turned black. That's what I was talking about, turning black, this under part here. He's a little bit pissed off. Still tame. Just not happy. Not happy. All right, guys. Take care.